I gotta tell you, man, the 1974 Stutz Black Hawk, it is packed with finer details. As much as I personally love the 70s, man, I gotta say this car right here, it's a statement maker in any decade, let me tell you. Elvis, the man, oh, he was the first to purchase the original production vehicle. He eventually bought four more Stutz. Other celebrities that owned Stutz Blackhawks, man, that included like cats like Jerry Lewis, Dean Martin, Billy Joel, Evil Knievel, Sammy Davis Jr., Elton John, Al Pacino, Lucille Ball, Frank Sinatra. Paul McCartney, Barry White, uh, Isaac Hayes, um, man, uh, there, there's, there's a lot more, a lot more. From 71 to 87, it's been like uh, five to 600-ish Blackhawks they were made. There's a lot of uh, signature touches on these cars that made them a classic from day one. Every corner, every inch of this thing, it's, it, it's packed with finer details, man. You got the trunk mounted spare, the side exhaust, Connolly leather seats. Gold plated interior it trim. I love that gold plated trim. It's got a console shifted automatic transmission, plush interior, pristine, all handcrafted steel body that were handcrafted in Italy. The Blackhawks, they used a Pontiac Grand Prix chassis and drivetrain. So it's kind of a, a crossover car, man. It was uh, American uh, chassis, American drivetrain. Uh, with uh, Italian coachwork. It was really kind of a neat setup. This Blackhawk and the early Blackhawks were outfitted with a 7.5 liter Pontiac V8 engine, which is the 455, uh, backed up with a uh, turbo mounted transmission. The engine, uh, it'll give you a 425 horse, 420 foot pounds of torque. And uh, for back in the day, as heavy as this car is, it's a very heavy car, it's a big luxury car. It would do zero to 60 in 8.4 seconds, had a top speed of around 130 miles an hour. That's, that's really impressive for a big, heavy, all steel luxury car from 1974. This is a car that uh, I've always wanted for a long time. Man, you know, I really love this car because it's about style. Uh, this car has so much style to it. It's so 70s and it's styling. Uh, I'm a 70s guy. Um, it just reeks of cool guy styling of the 70s. And the people I was talking about earlier that owned cars like this, they were just really cool people. And uh, this car just kind of reeks of coolness. I found this car. Actually, I found this car online. Um, uh, it came out of Pennsylvania. And uh, it was through a broker who uh, grossly uh, misrepresented her as far as condition was concerned. As you know, he said it was perfect, it needed nothing, just drive it, enjoy it, blah, blah, blah. I bought the car, I got it here, and I had to go through it to make it a really beautiful car, to make it enjoyable, to fix all of the things that it needed fixed. And that's the tragedy in my industry is there's so much misrepresentation, uh, especially online. You can sell a, a bag of garbage to somebody online if you represent it in a way. But uh, this car was highly misrepresented. And uh, when I got it here, yes, it was a 74 Blackhawk. Yes, it was all here. but. It needed a lot of restoration, so uh, I fixed up a whole lot of things on it. And now it's a uh, personal favorite car that I enjoy, I drive, I, I have a good time with it. And if you ever come to Vegas and you see a uh, 74 Stutz Blackhawk cruising the streets, it might be me. I love it. 
uh, I love it because I think they're cool. I also love it because uh, a lot of the, uh, the coolest people in the world have owned them. And uh, like most of the cars in my collection, I had to personalize it, customize it just a little bit. So some of the finer details I put on this car is a lot of gold leafing. A car like this is a uh, really classy ride, so I like gold leaf. So a lot of hand-turned gold leafing to accentuate the original body lines. So I talked to Ryan about it because to me, gold leafing on a car like this just adds that extra classiness with just the right amount of pimp mixed into it. So I wanted special gold leafing, large gold leafing, all hand turned, and some cool pinstriping in the gold leafing. And of course I had to add the TCB with the lightning bolt on the back as my tribute to the king. Uh, that's also the, uh, the necklace that hangs from the rearview mirror. To me, the car was so gorgeous right out of the box. In all honesty, all I did to this baby was lower it down a little bit and give it a proper stance. This is honestly a car that I've wanted for a long time. A lot of my heroes had a car like this. Elvis Presley, who's my man, um, had uh, several of these over the years. Uh, actually, the first time I ever saw a stunt black hawk in person was Robert Goulet's. Here in Vegas, probably in 1978, Robert Goulet was living here in Vegas and he had a silver uh, Stutz black on and it was gorgeous. That's the first time I saw one in person. I'd seen him in pictures, I was familiar with the car, but his was the first one that I actually laid eyes on face to face. This is honestly a personal favorite car of mine. I drive her on a regular basis. I enjoy her very, very much. She's just cool. She's old school Vegas. You know, back in the day, uh, in the uh, mid to late 70s, up and down the strip, you could go just about anywhere. And uh, one of these people that I mentioned back in the day would have a Stutz uh, parked out front of Valet in one of these magnificent hotels. And uh, you don't see that much anymore, but uh, I do my best to keep the coolness, the real coolness of the days gone by alive today. So I'll take my stuff out and uh, should be parked up front with the hotel casinos because that's what cool people do. These are some of the finer details that make this particular car very special. 74 Stutz Blackhawk. It's a way cool car. And uh, I'm gonna share some more with you. I got a lot of cool cars in my collection. So I'm gonna be sharing with you what I wanna call the finer details on some of my cool cars in my collection. So stay tuned, there's more cool stuff coming your way. Hope you dig the Stutz, I know I do.